Good morning, lovely people. How are you today? Oh my goodness, Scorgio! It's the Easter bank holiday weekend. We're having this little out of nowhere, a mini heat wave. It's beautiful, it's just so beautiful, honestly. I can't, I can barely express um, how happy it makes me to see the sunshine again, to feel the warmth. Poppy's fur is so warm, have you been sunbathing? Um, it's, it's just gorgeous. It does mean that the work's going a little bit more slowly. <laughs> uh, just because this heat's come so suddenly, I'm trying to pace myself. Now, this morning, it's our, <laughs> apart from cuddle time, are you gonna purr for everybody at home? Are you going to purr with the lovely people? Um, yes, today is one of our work parties, I was mentioning the other day. We have these once a month and uh, last night we all got an email <laughs> with the list of jobs that need doing, the number of people that will be needed for each job. <sighs> you know, if 40 people turn up, we should hopefully have all the work done in maybe two or three hours. I've never known 40 people turn up. Good morning, Buzzy Bee. I've never known 40 people turn up. 10 at best. So I think it's going to be one of those days where we're just not going to get through that whole list. Um, there's, I mean, it's literally hours and hours of work. We've got all our normal stuff to do. We've got hedge pruning, fence fixing, grass mowing. We also had three plots vacated last year one of which has been let now which is great and i've just met the new lady she's lovely and two of the pots unfortunately were left in such a state <laughs> that although in the autumn we did try to do a big clean up they're both they're in such a state we can't let them now normally when when pots become free even if they're overgrown you get what you're given when you're on the waiting list and you get offered a plot but with both these the the two pots I'm talking about it's it's not a case of just being overgrown it's there's so much rubbish has been left plastic holes or just a mess so that's one of the jobs today too and I'm just enjoying a little quiet moment before it all starts and I always get a little bit excited actually because it's I, I just think it's great fun when everyone comes together to do the work and I know that one of the ladies, Kay, who you've seen a couple of times in my videos, she was planning on making some sort of rhubarb, crumbly, puddingy, cakey thing for us. Incentive. Remember what I was saying the other day about having an incentive for the work? Cake's a good incentive, isn't it? So we'll get the work party done. Um, and then hopefully I'll have a bit of energy left to do some of my own garden. Um, Although it is really warm already. It's only about nine o'clock, it's really warm. But before any of that kicks off, I've got a bit of a question to ask any of you who have had insect houses in the past and who may be a bit more knowledgeable than me. So I'm going to start you this morning with some very, very chilled out footage I've just taken of the bees in my a little insect hotel area so have a little look at this I'm gonna give you about three minutes of it which if you're a busy to-do person you might not enjoy you can just skip through it but for those of you who enjoy that sort of thing just let it run get lost in the bees activities and chill with them and then I'll come back to you and I'm gonna ask my question
Okay, so this is my question. Oh, good morning, Rusty. Oh, it's going to be hissing in a minute. <laughs> Poppy's in here. So this is my question. It looks like all those bees are sort of swarming around the outside are trying to get in. Um, it's much earlier than it happened last year. Uh, last year, oh, reaching for some water. Last year, I think it was... It was more like, I think, July that I was noticing all the activity. Um, they were in and out and then eventually, I'm not even really sure of life cycle of bees, but I think um, putting their little egg, larva, baby, whatever in there, and then they seal up the end. So what I was expecting to see this year is that as those bees emerge, they, I don't know how they do it, they, chew their way out of that sort of sealed up end and out they come and off they go and do their own thing so at the moment looking at the um looking at the all the little sort of tubey bits that were used last year most of them they look like they're sealed over still so to me that that suggests that whatever was laid in there that new bee hasn't emerged yet is that right i'm not sure and so all the bees around the outside, are they are they trying to get in to already lay for next year? I'm really confused. So if any of you got any experience of that, please, please do let me know. And I was chatting with a friend last night about it. And she seems to think that I need to clean the, or the hotels again this year or clean them this year. So at what stage do I clean them? Do I wait for all those bongs in the ends of the holes to come out and then clean? What do I clean with? Yes, so any advice would be greatly appreciated. And one thing I am thinking looking at that is I really, really need to get on with building a whole lot more. You know, in an ideal world, I'd cover the whole of my fence in little insect hotels. It's always a time thing though, isn't it? It's finding time to do that kind of building. But um, yes, so I would greatly appreciate anyone's advice on the subject. And now, oh, it's such a beautiful morning. It's such a gorgeous morning. I think I'm going to just sit outside the shed quietly for a few minutes before the chaos of the work party starts. And then I'll catch up with you all later. Oh, and don't forget, sun cream, hats. I hate wearing a hat because it makes me feel so hot and sweaty, but I know I ought to for a bit more protection. So there we go. Right, five minutes of quiet time. Goodness me, it's hot today. It always seems to be so hot and sunny on our work party days. Okay, that's the first job done. So three of us on mowers and one person on a strimmer. So the four of us at all the grass and it's taken us an hour and a half. Oh, I'm not even going to take my hat off. I'm not going to show you my hair. So whilst I've been doing that, some other jobs have been going on, which I'll catch up with in a minute. But first of all, I'm going to go and see what's happening at the other end of the site and see what job I can do next. Apart from stick my head in a bucket of oh, ice cold water and I've seen the cake, the flan the rhubarb flan that Kay has made, so yeah, oh, <laughs> my arms are aching, trembling from, look at the, I've just caught sight of the, my face in the screen, the colour of my face, crazy, right, let's go and see what the next job is, what's right. going on here then, oh, Kay's giving it some welly, <laughs> are you right there Kay, oh, hang on a minute Sheena, right, are you right Sheena, <laughs> I better step back, and here's Guy, put, our chairman. Guy, say hello to everyone at home. Hello to everyone at home. No, seriously, hello, hello. So basically... What we're doing is we're, we're finishing this as it was designed originally. And what is this, Guy? Tell everyone what this is. Yes, I will, don't worry. <laughs> this, well, you might not believe it, is our toilet. And it's a, a waterless toilet. Um, and you can know, use compost when you've finished all the whatever. Uh, now the thing is, we had a temporary situation here, no done properly. Look, it's a but, elevated. Yes, but legally speaking, what you need to do with a door like this, it, you need to be able to walk out onto a flat surface. Ah, because the steps ran straight right. up before, didn't That's they? That's right. Then you turn to the right hand and go down our lovely new steps. So we're gonna, we've got yeah. some treads here. They're going to go where Kay is, I think. And this, of yeah. course, will have proper decking on it. And... 
Don't forget the safety thing. There will be a rail all the way around to stop. It's health and safety gone mad, guys, isn't it? Health and safety. Right, well, elf, elf and safety, we need some elves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put the camera down and see where I can help. But um, good work so far. So also as part of today, as you can see over here, we're clearing out yet more rubbish. There's always so much rubbish to clear out, but that will be gone soon. That was an old greenhouse. It was beyond saving, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so the reason the, the reason this is on stairs is because, I'm sure I've mentioned before, but the lavatory seat is at this height and then under here we've got wheelie bins and that catches our poo in our wee. Uh, we cover it with sawdust, we compost it down and then we use it later on. So, fab stuff. <laughs> this is going to be one of those how many cooks to make the broth. Look at this gorgeous sky. Oh, it's amazing. We've just stopped for a quick, uh, a quick tea break and uh, cake break. Mm -hmm. What did you get to eat, Sheena? <laughs> Biscuits. <laughs> Sheena made some flapjack. The 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 entire flan of the rhubarb flan that Kay made is flu flu tart. Flu Rhubarb tart, it's gone. It was gorgeous. So I think it's time. Um, just swinging around. I'm going to keep Mrs. out. Now, are you ready to go and carry go on with those loo it steps? Up. It's Waterloo Gate. Waterloo Gate. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. It's time to get in. Pooped. Joy has spent the whole morning picking plastic out of an old plot. How was that? It's a great harvest. <laughs> <laughs> harvest of plastic. Right, well we're all we're all in danger of falling asleep here, so should we go and crack on? Yeah. <sighs> Gird yourselves, girls. Come on. <laughs> Actually just keep it upright, I can see from there, that's oh, yeah. fine. So we need yeah, you put it on pretty much. And I'll get the sand if you if you Stop with it there. Yeah. That's the sand allows you to level it up. Exactly. It's exactly what I did with my shed actually. Yeah. Right, let me just grab the sand. Put it up down from there now and you can use that to level up. Ease our problem. Do we not need it for any other foot? Oh, I'll keep it up. Yeah. So it might go for like a couple of corners as well. Yeah. Might be a bit more on this side. Yeah. Really Starting how much to use, I think. Get away from it. Are you alright with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Guy, it's in the wrong place. What you do? I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You need to scratch. You're a scratch. Well, what it does is leave us a leverage, isn't no? it? Oh, we should have a little jump on it and see if it's uh, yeah, good. That's one. It. Uh, and it's roughly along the back now. So <laughs> I think, scrape away the rubbish. Good stuff. Stand on that. I think that's, that's, as, that's as firm as you can Battery gonna last. <laughs> right, pretty, ta pretty old time to get battery. time to get the chisel. Have we got a chisel? Well, you should be able to get. Um, you should. Yeah. How how wide's your saw? You could probably do a cut do one down. Out, probably. Yeah. Oh. But uh, with a bit of luck. I mean, you've got a good chisel there. Indeed. Do you want me to hold? Uh, do you want me to be your vice? Uh, yeah. yeah, so if you wouldn't mind keeping it in place, that would be fantastic. I push down on this side, you push down there. Okay. But not too much because this has got no support. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see where this Kay's here, notching out. You could take a lighter slice up first to see how you get on with that. Oh. Yeah, it's not... It's slightly it's nigh old yeah, wood. Yeah, try that one. That's it. Sounds good to me. Look at it giving it some welly. 
That uh, maybe I need to come around this way so for right, this one. Get it from here. Because I'm yeah, I'm back yeah. to front now. Can you just to... Let me have a go at that bit from this side. Yeah, because it needs to come that way, doesn't it? Little often that's the key with this job. When you're just finishing up there, just take little bits out and then it's just getting there. You want to have a little tidy bit? Yeah. Just take little slices off, don't need to take too much. Your chisel angle to just pick out the wood, that's it. That's lovely. Get the right that angle. That might be good enough. Yeah, let's have a little see if we can. The law of sod means, of course, that the um, that the power saw has run out of juice. Do you know what? I'm going to have to stand in here, Kay, I think. No, no. <laughs> What about that? Oh. No. oh, that's better. What we're going to do, I'll just quickly show you why we've got a high eight on this stock. Um, okay, so we're powering away on the uh, power saw, which is fab, but we've not got t completely enough pieces to, to deck it with. So we're going to cut one more. So the two edge ones we screwed down, and then we're going to cut one more, and then depending on, then we can kind of, d so rather than starting here screwing, and then a big, big hole here, we're just going to get the last one cut and then we can measure them and arrange them so that it fills. It looks like quite a big gap, doesn't it, babe? Yeah. We might have to do a double, you know, two lots of waste to the middle. So, and also we've got two different types of... Do you know what? I think these holes might... might maybe they're going to be a bit too big. too big. Well, what are we going to do? Hi. Okay, so... Well, it'll be cut to here anyway. Yeah, so what we've kind of discovered is... We haven't got enough to make, obviously we've now butted them up completely. Once we cut this, we'll have a bit of waste here. We've got a bit of this waste. But because we put this kind of like centre joist in, we'll just do two halves, two bits of waste, and bring them into that um, centre joist. Uh, and that should work. Right, let's get sawing. I'm going to turn you all off for a minute while I do some more sawing. It's finished. There's some temporary little bits, but essentially it's finished and it's holding both of us. I'll come down in a minute and show you uh, in detail, but how is that for a bit of teamwork? I think we've done an excellent job. We've had such fun. Have you had fun? We've had fun. Yeah, we're available for hire. Uh, <laughs> build yourselves an allotment composting loo. No, never mind the loo. Build yourselves a set of stairs and a deck. <laughs> oh, my knees. Ow. <laughs> So there we have it. You know, it really has been a fun project to get on with today. We've been a, a great team. Some of it, you see these things across here. That's just temporary at the moment. And come around here to give you a little look at the deck. So there we go. Decks on stilts. All that, all that notching out that was done earlier has worked a treat. And then there's our gorgeous deck and you won't believe it but we ran out of deck pieces see this one here we put a call out on the plot 
see if anyone had any spare bits. And actually, it's girls next door to me. They happen to have this spare. And look at it, it was exactly the right length. We didn't have to cut it. We probably will trim along this whole edge to get it looking better. Now, in terms of a sort of a, a, a balustrade around this, we are hoping, somehow or other, that we can use this old gate that's being chucked out and then hopefully put that up there across the back. What a fantastic effort. <laughs> Kay standing in front of all the rubbish that's been removed from empty plots today. But yeah, I don't know how long we've been at that. A couple of hours or so? Oh, good, good four or five, I think. Actually, we, we've had to stop and start a couple of times as we've run out of power tools and had to go back to sheds to pick up hand tools and what have you. But it's proper sturdy. Oh, Kay, do you want to give us a demo running up the stairs to show how sturdy it oh, is? Goodness, Frankly, I can't because my knees are scuppered. And then the idea with the, having the deck is then you've got plenty of room to open the door. And uh, <laughs> we know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, so as she opens the door, you can see there's plenty of room to stand, to then close the door, to then do, 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 come down the stairs. This, this handrail is an old handrail, so that needs sorting out too and then obviously with the posts we need to cap them so they don't rot but yeah good work i think it's time for a beer isn't it goodness me what a busy day that's been what a wonderful day my legs are done in so there's no way i'm going to be doing anything in my own garden today we've been at it for about Oh, six and a half hours today. All sorts of other jobs have gone on on site as well, which uh, I didn't get a chance to show you in the end because we got so busy with the, um, the steps and the deck for the composting loo. But it's just been, oh, let me turn the glasses off, you'll get reflections. Oh, my sweaty Betty face. It has been truly wonderful today because you know, we started the day, it's the same usual core of folk who come to the work parties and help out. But then gradually other people arrived and were pitching in. And as the afternoon's worn on, plot holders have had their families turning up and people have been having picnics. Such a beautiful day, of course you would want to. And of course it's a bank holiday weekend, so folk have their families around anyway. But it really has been... A wonderful day and I can't I can't say enough how how wonderful it is <laughs> right Rusty how wonderful it is to get involved with your community um where are you going buddy he's <laughs> looking out the window um hold on a sec it's because I've got the door shut against noise at the minute there you go buddy off you go yeah um if you get the chance in in your allotments community gardens whatever it is and there's a community day of work to be done please do join in because it's a, like i was saying right at the beginning it's a great way to give back to your community but you know what it makes you feel great afterwards as well knowing that you've made a contribution you get to work with different people that you don't normally work with say get to know newer people it's just wonderful and oh I love it. I absolutely adore the community here. Everyone is, everyone's just so wonderful and lovely and happy and enthusiastic and oh, I wish I could bottle today's atmosphere because honestly if I was ever having a down day in the middle of winter, one whiff of that scent of wonderful community loveliness, ah, oh, right. I'm waxing on now. So, um, whew, I didn't get around to showing you any gardening today, but there we go. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of what goes on. Oh, and I've just remembered right back at the beginning of this morning, I was showing you the bees, wasn't I? So, if anyone's got any clues about the bees and what I should do about that, please let me know. But for now, <laughs> I need to get myself home, have a moderately, just a warm bath, plenty of Epsom salts, 
because I think tomorrow I'm going to feel today. Wherever you are, whoever you're with, whatever you're up to, I hope you're having fun and enjoying your community time. I'll see you all again really super soup <laughs> soon, I hope. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves and be joyful for these beautiful days.